Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to sew one of these super revealing sexy red tops, elastic crust in the back. You want to see how I did this loose fit thingy? Then check out my tutorial. Okay, so for my top I'm using two kinds of red fabric. The outer layer is going to be in this very see-through, very thin uh, red. They're both like polyester, I guess, non-stretchy. Um, and this is going to help give the top a sort of nice little flowy feeling. Um, and underneath I'm going to put this, which is non-see-through. Um, yeah, and also I'm going to use this thin round red elastic. And other than that, you need scissors, measuring tape, sewing machine, all the regular stuff. First thing you need to do is get the measurements. I need the measurement of the bottom, for the bottom of the top. So it's going to be about down here, depending on where you want it to go. But I'm going to go with this measurement. Uh, then you also need the measurement from the top shoulder to the bottom down here. I forgot to say that you also need the measurement, measurements of uh, your shoulders up here, which will be the width of the top of the, the top. <laughs> I'm going to need to cut um, four pieces of fabric. Two similar front pieces, one from each fabric, and two similar back pieces, one from each fabric. So I'm going to start by laying the fabrics out on top of each other and cutting the pieces out. This is what the front pieces are going to look like, and this is what the two back pieces are going to look like. So I'm going to draw that out onto my fabrics right now. So I decided to go with two bottom pieces instead of just one, so this will be the top piece. And these will be the two bottom pieces. And the two bottom pieces will make up a loop that will go around my hip. Or hip measurement. And this piece will make up the top. So this is going to be attached to the loop once we've sewn the loop. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is sew my two top pieces together. And I'm going to sew... Um, I'm going to leave the bottom open. I'm going to put them with the insides facing each other. And I'm going to sew the sides and the top, but at the top I'm going to leave a tiny little hole because we are going to pull this little sucker through. Um, so the hole needs to be about half a centimeter or something like that. But since we're sewing it like this, it's still going to look nice and closed from the outside, so don't worry about having to hem that or anything like that. So sew both sides, so these measurements right here. And so the top, which is this one, but at the sides, two corners here, leave about half a centimeter. So I'm going to iron this, and next up, it's time for these two pieces. Same way, like inside, facing each other. Um, and they're going to be sewn just along one of the sides. And that is the top side, the side that's going to be sewn onto the main piece um, later. So one of the long sides, one of the long sides, okay? So you lay them out with the fabric you want to the outside to face upwards. Like this. And then you just Lay them like that, so that both fronts are facing each other, and then you just sew this short end shut. And you're going to have one long piece, and then we need to measure, uh, find the perfect measurement, and then sew the whole thing together into a loop. So, next thing we're going to do now is close this loop, so just put it where you think it's going to end up, or where you want it to end up. Then tighten it as much as you want. Mark it with a pin on both sides. And then sew this shut, cut the extra off, and then your loop is going to be done. Here's my finished loop, flipped the right way. It's time to bring out the elastic, and we need to pull it through these 
these little holes left, that we left up here. So it is now on the elastic. All right. So pull the top over your head. The top like this. And then you cross these in the back. So I'm going to tie a knot to mark. Okay, so the aim for the knots is to be like mid seam here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to hem the bottom piece to, to, to the top piece. This can be a little tricky. So this is the front of the fabric. Start by crossing these in the back. Keeping them crossed and flipping it over. So I have my little knots right here. Everything is turned the right way right now. So put this on top right here and then hem these two all the way. This is going to be left, so just hem these two, and then when we flip it like that, it's going to be done. Okay, so I'm going to pin these two right now. And this is super important. Pull these out towards the sides. Maybe there's a couple of centimeters left. Um, and then if you have a sewing machine that is powerful to sew straight through this, that's what you do. Okay, we're almost down now. So the top looks like this for right now. So all the pieces are sewn together. What remains is cutting off like loose threads, cleaning stuff up, um, cutting off the extra elastic. My machine was totally able to sew through it, so yay! Okay, so for hemming, the bottom part needs to be inside out. And then just go ahead and hem the regular way. And this is when the bottom being uneven is fixed. So just sew that, and then we're done. Thanks for watching, guys.